Now these desserts will be great for anything, like wedding receptions, anything at all, just a little get together, football games, anything at all. So I'm gonna show you how to make these right now. And I'm gonna tell you how much of what ingredients you need. As you see, I got my measuring equipment out. You need a whisk to whisk it up. And I got all the ingredients. It's gonna be cornstarch, vanilla abstract, salt, couple eggs, sugar, and some milk. And we're gonna mix the filling up first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and core the strawberries. All right, so first things first, we're gonna put half a cup of sugar, quarter cup cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna mix it in a medium saucepan, and then we're gonna get going with everything else. There's your half cup of sugar. And then we'll get the quarter cup of cornstarch. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go. And now we're just gonna whisk it up a little bit before we add our other ingredients. It calls for a metal, a metal whisk, but we're gonna use a plastic one. It should do the same thing, so. Stop it. And I want to add one teaspoon of vanilla abstract. And then we're going to add two cups of milk. I like the whole milk. It's a little bit better for you, I feel like. And then we're going to need four egg yolks. So we're going to let the egg whites drop out. And what I usually do, I'm going to just throw them all in a bowl like that. And we're going to gather four of them. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump the four egg yolks in. I saved all the boring stuff from you guys and me cracking all four eggs. And we're going to go ahead and whisk this up. And then we're going to put it on medium heat. And we're going to wait... And just, if you guys want like a fluffier cream, you can add whipped cream uh, to the thing, but you're not, it's not necessary to do that if you don't want to. And it is better to use a wired whisk because uh, it gets in the grooves in here and it's harder to get out with the plastic one. But I use a spoon just to help get it out of there. So now we're going to turn on the medium heat. About five, I guess. And then you just gotta constantly whisk it. And then as soon as it's done and it thickens up, you gotta let it cool down completely. And this is what they were talking about until it thickens up. You'll see it starts getting like a filling right there. So then we're just gonna turn it off since it's starting to thicken. And it says let cool completely. So we're gonna check on it here in a couple minutes. All right, first you're gonna get your leaf stems, whatever you wanna call it. Cut a little bit of the end off. Give you something to work with. Now. It's better obviously to have the core like you do like tomatoes and stuff might work better, but I got the end of a peeler. It looks like it should work. So we're gonna try to use this. So basically you don't wanna go all the way down to the end of the strawberry. It'll break open and stuff, but you just wanna have a good middle chunked out. So something like that, you get the middle chunked out and we're gonna put the cream in the middle and we're gonna drizzle some uh, chocolate on top. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna stuff the strawberries with the Boston cream filling like that. Make sure it's nice in there. We're gonna do this to all them and then like I said, chocolate's going right on top. Let's go ahead and get these done. Alrighty, and we're done all the Boston cream filling inside the strawberries as you can see. So we're heating up the chocolate now, and I'll show you how we're doing that, and then we're gonna drizzle it on top. All right, guys, so we have water down here. We're gonna boil, and it's gonna help melt the chocolate. And that you could do it in a microwave or whatever way you think is better, maybe straight in the pan. It's your choice of how you wanna do it. So I'm gonna show you here when we get this all melted, and we'll let you see how it looks. All right, we're gonna add some milk to make it a little bit more creamier. See if that works. All 
And you put however much chocolate you want on there. I'm just doing a little bit of drizzles. Alrighty, they're done. They are done. Now it's the taste test. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll let you guys know how they taste. Alright, let's try one out. It's pretty good. Thank you guys for tuning in and stay tuned for more recipes and tips and tricks.